I've never seen this cat come around during daylight. So right now the sun's just about to go down. I've only seen this cat on security camera footage from the middle of the night. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, Ditto, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. It's about 8 a.m. And there's Goldie. I don't see any of the other cats around. I don't know where they are. I saw a few walk across the patio earlier this morning, but I don't know where they went. They could be having breakfast somewhere else. I don't know. But I put two platters of food out. So there is a can of wet food on each platter. Um, it's the Trader Joe's turkey and giblets that the inside cats don't like. And unfortunately, it has been discontinued by Trader Joe's. And there are a bunch of crunchies on the plates. And I put some wellness chicken pate in the trap. It's one of Boo's favorites. And the other day, I put a paver on top of this table to try to straighten it out uh, because it was quite warped. And uh, it's getting straightened out now, so that's good. And there goes Goldie, she's gonna eat. It's quite chilly out. I would say maybe it's like 50 degrees out, maybe even in the high 40s, it's quite cold. And there's the shelter with the straw. And uh, it looks like no one touched it overnight, which is good. It would be nice if the cats used it. They can use it if they want to, but I'm just happy that like raccoons or something didn't wreck it. Um, I'm gonna see if I have some clear plastic for the doors and um, I am in the process of getting some insulation for this. So um, over the next few days, um, I'll have the insulation. I'll be able to install it and uh, yeah, everything's moving forward. So look who we have here. It looks like Nancy's eating some food along with Ringo and little Eva. That's what it looks like from here. I could be wrong. Maybe one of them is Richard, but it looks like, looks like Eva. And they look very hungry. So there's four cats eating. If they finish all that, I'll put another platter out. It's 8, 10 a.m. Let's see what's going on outside. So it looks like they almost finished both plates of food. There's still some food on the plate on the right. And no one has touched the food in the trap. I put one more can of food outside. I mixed in some homemade salmon broth and I split it up between the two platters along with some more crunchies. And then that will be it for the cats this morning. That's a good amount of food. So for six or seven cats, it's three cans along with some dry food. And that seems to be a good amount. And when I went outside, little Eva was finishing off what was left on one platter. And then she ran to the back corner. I don't know if she's still there. Hopefully she'll come back and finish eating. It's 5 p.m. And there's the plate that's in the trap. So I took Boo's leftover breakfast and I put it outside in the trap a few hours ago and I took out the plate that was in there and I had to run to the post office just now uh, before they closed. But before I left, maybe 10, 15 minutes ago, I looked outside and little Richard was sitting by this trap. So I think he was the one that went in and ate the food, but it's a good sign. And also the plate was pushed farther back into the trap. So that's good also. It's 5.30 p.m. I just looked outside and look at this. That's little Richard. He's sleeping on the patio chair. I'm happy he's getting some good rest. I think he's been hanging out waiting for dinner to be served. But what I'm doing now is like I just started making some homemade raw food. So it's going to be at least a half hour before I put any food out for the cats. I'm going to let him sleep. Now is a good time for him to sleep before all the other critters come out for the evening. So this is the homemade raw food I just made for the outside cats, uh, pretty much. The inside cats can eat it too. Um, it's probably a little bit less than 10 pounds of food. And I just brought a platter of it outside. Uh, there's some crunchies on it too. And Richard jumped off the chair and then he hissed at me. That's what he does, like he gets a little bit afraid. Um, so he hisses at me. And then I put the food down and he went straight over to eat it. So that's good. I'm going to put one more platter down and then I'm going to pack up the rest for the freezer and get the inside cats fed. 
It's 6.50 p.m. And look who's here. It's the all-white cat. I've never seen this cat come around during daylight. So right now the sun's just about to go down. I've only seen this cat on security camera footage from the middle of the night. Wow. It's very rare to see an all-white cat around here. I've kind of named this one Casper. Just because every time I see it on the security camera footage, it almost looks like a ghost cat on the night vision. It's obviously not. It's a real cat. It's a big cat, too. That's one thing I noticed on the security cameras. I was like, wow, that's a big cat. And even now, seeing the cat, it's a big cat. It's probably the size of the inside cats. Like right now, if one of the kittens was outside, um, you'd see that it's about twice the size of like Little Richard or Ringo or any of them. It's a really striking looking cat. And it's so nice and white, so it's obviously taking care of itself. I don't know where it's been eating. It does not look like it's starving. I don't know if it belongs to somebody. I mean, the only time I've ever seen it is in the middle of the night on the security camera footage. So this is the first time I'm actually seeing it with my own two eyes versus on a um, pre-recorded video. I don't know if it's a girl or a boy, so. The name Casper could be totally wrong, but. Um, that's fine. It's eating some food. I did put another small plate of food in the trap just to see if anyone would come back and eat. Um, I think uh, maybe like three or four of the kittens ate some of the food. I don't know where they went. I don't know where they've been going. I don't know. You know, I'm just putting food out to try to get them on a routine so I can try to get them spayed and neutered. Um, I ordered certificates for the spay and neuters. Uh, two days ago, and they have not arrived yet. I'm hoping that they arrive tomorrow or the next day, then I can make some appointments for next week. Even though we're supposed to get the rain from the hurricane in Florida, that's supposed to be here in a few days. So I might have to wait for the rain to pass. We're not supposed to get, like, a tropical storm or anything. We're just supposed to get a lot of rain from it. Anyway, this is the white cat that I've been seeing on the security camera footage. I don't think I've mentioned it in any of the previous videos, but now you see it also. Thank you for watching this Lucky Earl's video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos, and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.